get the feeling that everything in America is completely fucked up. You know that feeling that the whole country is like one inch away from saying, that's it, forget it. You think about it, everything's polluted. The environment, the government, the schools, you name it. You out there? You listening? Are you unhappy? What? Are you unhappy in life? No. Why? A little bit. More like my situation in life. We are slaves to the capitalist fucking thing, man. What do you mean? If you don't have enough money, you are not, you don't, you gotta be unhappy. That's the way, I mean, by the way, I, I, I don't mind living in a capitalist society, but it, to, uh, to, can money buy you happiness? Yes, it can. Don't fucking believe the hype, man. It does buy happiness. No. You know how I know? I'm a preschool teacher. I know money can't buy happiness. <laughs> I think it might help, but I don't think it could buy happiness. Definitely helps out the situation, but it doesn't buy happiness. Um, but you sure, I mean, if you, if you had your head on straight and you had a bunch of money, it would be a wonderful thing, better than having not enough money. If you don't have enough money, then you have to spend a lot of time figuring out how you're going to eat and stuff like that. So do you think money could buy happiness? It can, but I enough would, money, too much money, money can problems. create stress, but look, enough look, money to pay your bills that. is definitely something that adds to your happiness. And feeling satisfied. <laughs> what, is there anything in life that makes you unhappy, I guess? Unhappy. Yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> like what? Um, I don't know. Well, I would say a lot of people are sad for unnecessary reasons like I mean like this country has a lot of things to offer for it and yeah we don't have enough no matter how much we try you know try for what try to succeed you know like I don't know it just kind of sucks like how America is like how we need to pay for our education in order to succeed in life you know like it's not like Europe where they actually will help you out with those things. Like it's like you have to actually prove yourself in order to get a scholarship and even if you're somewhat good, you know, you don't get anything. So, you know, it's just like those standards, you mm. know. People always have standards in life, so hmm. Actually right now I'm pretty happy, to be honest with you. It is it's you know, kids are doing good, wife's doing good, money's okay. So those are things, the base things you need in life to make you happy, or what? Um, they make the things in life easier. Or, you know, you know, happiness is something each person needs to find within themselves. But when you have the little things, like they say, it's the little things in life that that really count. I think that life is very fast-paced and very stressful. Do you find yourself unhappy in life? It's a beautiful place to be because they have services to be. Uh, consumed or either rendered or either advice or used for advice. Yeah, watching the news gets me down. The news? Yeah, the whole thing with uh, you know all, all the money we're spending on the war and how our economy is falling down and they try to say it's not related, but for sure it is. Yeah. Right now, happy. Yeah, happy though. You never know. In the winter, not so much. What when do you the mean? Snow hits and it's just it's a stretch every day just to get somewhere. But I'd say generally, I'm a happy person. Yeah. I, I, mean, I, I have my wish, times when you're not, when I'm not. Yeah. You always wish things were going different, but at the same time you learn what you've got. But you no, know, life itself has so much to offer. And then I ain't taking any, anyone. Please do not accept the 10 minutes of pleasure for life up here. Because once you get into drugs, you... Um, you took drugs? Once you get into drugs, you forget about life and all its joy. And all is um has to offer. Offer it. Well, we live in a time of stuff. There's been no like uh, what, no like evolution of, of spirit. There's been evolution of stuff. Yeah. Kind of this lateral expansion of stuff. Of crap. Yeah, complete crap. It's crapola. And I th I think that kind of stress is really harmful and makes people feel unhappy. Well, it's all an artificial stress. It's created. Mm. We don't have enough natural stress to be a <laughs> yeah. in this world. Come on, yeah. let's and it's, create it's some the, more. It's the yin and yang of the computer age. Just somehow I'm always getting the short end of the stick. 
in everything I do in my life. And that makes me a bitter, angry person, you know? I mean, when you can't pay your bills, when you don't know like how, like where you're gonna sleep from one night to the next, you don't know how you're gonna eat like the next day, it makes you kind of cranky, especially when you see people like doing nothing, putting forth no effort in life, and like doing fabulously. Yeah, yeah. It, it makes it hard to like not be pissed. Yeah. Pisses me off in life, generally people. What do you mean? Uh, people's ignorance, people's lack of common sense in some, uh, some areas. Like what? Um, I don't know. Buying thousands of useless products that do no good, but just so they can have more and more. This culture of choice, and there's so many things now that there's with choices that, you, that people have to make. I mean, you go into Wegmans now, and there's like, instead of like, okay, you want this box of cereal or this box of cereal, now you have 25 different boxes of the same brand of cereal, whether you want low cal, low froy, low this, or no ch no cal, low, or fat. low fat, or I'm, low we sugar. Had, we had one choice of milk. You had either skim or regular. Now you got skim, 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%, you know, vitamin D. I was like, give me milk. Well, what do you think are the things that make uh, generally all people unhappy in life? Not knowing enough about themselves and not knowing enough about your place in the world. As in uh, within you, without you. You know what I mean? You're, you're, you're very special, you're very unique. At the same time, you're not unique at all. So you have to balance the two. And if you can't figure out, if you can't be happy or don't understand the balance, then I think that you know, you're a lot of place. Unhappy? Do I look unhappy? <laughs> No. <laughs> you find you think you're a generally happy person? Yeah. What what are the things that make you unhappy in life? What do you think why do you think people are unhappy in life then? Because they don't accept it. What do you mean? I don't know. It's hard for me to understand because I'm not unhappy. Yeah, you gotta be happy. You gotta find the things that make you happy. It can be a choice. You think it's a choice? Yeah. Well, then why do you think people are unhappy? Why do they choose not to be happy? They're not grateful enough. I think people have lost uh, what is important. They tend to think other things are important instead of what they should. Because they kind of lost their values, more or less. These kids come from, like, easy, soft lives, and then, you know, goof off and fuck up bad enough that I have to throw them out of the bar, and then and then want to try to say to me, like, oh, what are you going to do to me, you fat old man? I'm like, kid, I hated you before I met you. Like, I was ready to kick your ass ten years ago. Like, if you don't have that much hate in your heart, you're going to lose this fight. We all need each other. You know what I'm saying? We social beings. You know what I'm saying? We all need each other. I mean, without you, you know what I'm saying, getting this out to people that a lot of people don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Understand yeah, yeah. what's going on. So we all need each other, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It ain't a black and white issue anymore. It used to be. You know, that's why we had civil wars and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I think it's more of a spirituality issue. Good, evil, more so, because... Then, I think, more or less of uh, being aware, kind of. I yeah, mean... exactly, man. You know, because the aware people that are aware, man, a lot of times they take advantage of those who are unaware. Yeah. Right. It starts with being aware, and yeah. then you have to. Uh, you're always looking towards it. And then you have to. Uh, yeah, and if you're not aware, then you know, obviously what are you working towards at all? So. I think probably overall people are, are happy, but but maybe um, I think people tend to real, not realize how good they have it, mm. not appreciate it. Mm. Yeah. I think being comfortable and knowing who you are makes you happy. And we are even we can stand up and say hallelujah and the cops will look at you and know that they sometimes they're questioning yeah. because their tension wanna know what's if going you, on. Right. And they'll question but not all the time. But if they see a gun or a weapon they you know, they go right at it. Yeah. But if you feel free and you wanna shout or dance or whatever, they'll let you do that. Just don't threaten the president and don't try to um commit nobody murders or nothing and they won't bother you. Happiness is a choice. And I'm sure maybe when life gets tougher for me, when I'm older and I have more responsibility, I, I might be unhappy. What do you mean? 
where I have to pay bills, I have to do taxes, uh, I have to deal with grown up things. I don't know. I don't have to deal with any of that stuff. You, you're not a grown up? No. Are you? 